Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Charles Young. Back at you again. Uh, follow me on OpenThoughts.com. That's Open T H O T S dot com. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The description will be in the link below. Um, today, I want to talk a little bit about uh, something I'm always thinking about. I'm thinking about uh, the topic of selling out. And okay, so let me give you a little background story about myself. When I first started getting into my awakening and my enlightenment and my consciousness and my awareness, uh, I started off with the Illuminati conspiracy theories, you know. And, you know, a lot of the information really helped me and a lot of it hurt me. The first time I learned about it was uh, we were given to it. Actually, I was about maybe 18, 19 years old, and it was in church, and we had this ex-ministries, and he was going over discussing the uh, influence of the industry-type music and the demonic spirits and all that stuff that was uh, in charge into the music, and I knew nothing about it, and what that did was it, it stopped me from listening to music. I mean, I, I used to sleep with my headphones on at night. I used to... Um, you know what I'm saying? Basically bump my music all the time. Music was my life. I wanted to be a rapper. I wanted to do, do this. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I enjoyed it. And once that happened, I felt like music turned its back on me. So I what I did was turn my back on it. And then I started accepting the fact that I started calling all these individuals sellouts and making videos based upon the fact that all these people are uh, sellouts and, you know, you know they sold themselves, sold to the devil and blah, 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 blah. And going through all this stuff. And now as I'm getting older, I'm starting to realize that, you know, we're going to sell out to something. And I'm not, I'm not condoning the fact of selling out. I'm just saying we're going to sell out to something. It's we're going to sacrifice. Instead of saying it's selling out, it's sacrificing. We're going to sacrifice something in life. And it may not be what somebody else may sacrifice. Different people have different goals that they want to achieve and they want to get to the highest point. For instance, we talk a lot about, um, I bring this guy up all the time, Kanye West. And everybody calls him a sellout because his, his, his beginning music was so conscious based and it was so powerful. And now his music is different and he changed. Well, people can change. People have different uh, ideas and different what they want to do. They can change. They're not selling out. They sell out packed crowds. Wouldn't you want to do that one day too? A lot of us talk about um, other in individuals selling out and we don't have anything close to what they have. We don't even have a third of what they have. Shoot, and you, you you spend your whole time talking about these individuals. Well, what about yourself? Have you gotten into their shoes? Have you been in their posi position in life? If you haven't, then how can you call them a sellout and, and all this? I can understand people who's been around these individuals. They can base their opinion based upon their interaction with that individual. And it's, it's a different thing versus you as being a person watching TMZ saying that this person is crazy. You have no sense unless you learn or unless you're around that individual now if you're not around that individual how can you say they sold out you don't know anything about them you just only accept them whatever the tv shows you or whatever the computer shows you or whatever world star shows you or whatever facebook shows you uh and instead of actually trying to get to that person's position in order to have a conversation with that individual you just stop where you're at and just say yep sell out bam and it makes no sense. It, 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 it doesn't help. It's, it, it doesn't help you in any way. Even if they did sell out, they still got more money than you do. Why don't you get to a position where they're in? So my thing is, when we talk about selling out, look at the situation of what is selling out. Now, of course, there's some people that is very suspect and questionable about the decisions that they make. But we can't consider all of our people sellouts. It's it's. It's just unbelievable the amount of times that I've heard that a black person is a sellout because they're in the music industry. Um, everybody has a way to encourage and touch other individuals because honestly, let's think about it. If you saw that individual on the street, would you buy their album? Would you support them as being an independent? Most of the time, most of us wouldn't. We say so much about this artistry, this industry artist and Really, if he was just a regular average Joe just trying to sell his music on the street, we wouldn't even pick up a copy. Matter of fact, even look at him twice. Some people will even talk down on him. Some people would tell him, you know, get a regular day job. But now he's higher than you. Now you can say, well, he's a sellout. 
And a lot of time, if you're going to say that about an individual, make sure you say it to their face. It doesn't mean anything to say it on Facebook and Twitter. It does. It's just it's just a hidden way. I don't really like to say negative things about anybody. And if I do, I want to say it to your face. If I feel that way, I want to say it to your face and accept the consequences of what happens the next situation. I don't have a problem with that because I felt that way and I want that individual to know how I feel as well because I feel passionate about it. But I want to know that I'm going to express myself to them instead of hiding behind a computer saying crazy stuff about them. Now, of course, you got to reach out people through the Internet. But if you have opportunity to meet that individual and you're able to express your opinion about them, tell them into their face. Let them know how you feel, and they probably will be completely different than what you think. They'd be a, probably a completely different response. I'm pretty sure of that. Most of the guys are not even what you think. They, you think that these guys are these, uh, 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 um, these machismo, <laughs> uh, tough thug guys, and really they just regular guys that day you just have a life and they have a passion and they enjoy with their work and they enjoy inspiring people. And they're doing it at a high enough rate to inspire tons of people and would love to actually inspire you if you're not talking so much trash about them selling out to do the same. And if you were in a situation, they probably would help you. So, you know, that's another thing about accepting other people's opinion. It's other people's beliefs that you don't really even know the information fully yourself. You don't know if it's true or not. So why would you accept it if you don't know all the information? And that's the issue. That's our issue is we accept so much information that is somebody else's belief system. And hell, a lot of the information is given from the industry that signed them on. So they're the ones who are basically promoting. So you're just accepting the people that you said he sold out to. Be mad at the people that he's that he's he signed under. They're the ones who who helped that decision. So why are you mad at him? Be mad at that individual. And you're going to say because he influences people. Well, okay, if he influences people, if you don't really like that individual, this is what I do. This is how I feel. If I don't really like a situation, what I do is I don't listen to him. I don't talk about him. I have no information about that individual that I want to share with another, in the per with another person about him. That's how you boycott an individual. You don't continuously build them up because you're just building up uh, uh, their marketing. You're just building up their success. By talking down on them, you're only making them successful. So if you don't agree with them, if you don't even like anything they're doing, just don't talk about them. Don't say anything about them. Don't call them a name. Don't give them any title, any negative title, any positive title. Don't give them nothing. Don't even talk about them. When people talk about them, don't say a thing. That's how you can change certain situations. But the more you talk about them is the more energy they can feed off of. So, like I'm saying, thank you again for listening. My name is Charles Young. Man, I know I've been burping through all these videos for the last couple of days. Um, I gotta, uh, um, gotta change what I'm eating. <laughs> so, uh, thanks again. Follow me on OpenThoughts.com. That's open, T-H-O-T-S dot com. Uh, the description and the link will be it'll be at the bottom follow me on Facebook and Twitter it'll be at the bottom and talk to me if you don't agree with me let me know let me know I, I would love to talk to you about this situation trust me I will say something about it so thank you and you have a good one